Alrighty guys with video number one covering my base progress on my builder hall it is now time for us to jump right into the town hall 12 base progress as you can see I've already edited my layout here for you guys we are going to jump right into it but along along the way I'm going to be talking about why I'm upgrading what I'm upgrading what I have learned I used to rush um, I am so guilty when it comes to that i rushed my town on nine i i semi rushed my town on 10 um before i eventually caught up with what was going on and i literally just lost too much trophies and i said wait, wait wait i need to change my strategy and i then ended up maxing my 10 i maxed my 11 except for my heroes and except for my walls because i was so excited to get to the um town on 12 and unlock those sieges which i do not regret to an extent why do I say to an extent? Because it is taking me forever to catch up with my heroes. So your heroes can go all the way to level 50 when you are on Town Hall 11. And I am still trying to catch up guys. My Barbarian King is level 45. So you will see him all the way down here. He is level 45 my queen is level 55 so i she she can literally just go 10 more levels and then she's maxed for tunnel 12 and then my grand warden is going up to level 28 so he can go all the way to level 40 but i don't regret him because he can only go up to level 20 on tunnel 11 and i maxed him okay guys without further ado let's jump right into what we upgrade why we upgrade what we upgrade so for everyone who's not familiar with this your base has something called defense points so the higher your defense points the higher level of clan or sorry not clan um the higher level tunnels are attracted to you so the stronger opponents in other words are attracted to you so if you upgrade for instance your eagle artillery your infernos if you go ahead and upgrade your wizard towers your expos all of those are heavy duty defense units so they up your base's defense points much quicker than the cannons, the mortars, the hidden teslas, the bomb towers, or even the archer towers. That's why you'll see that my my wizard towers, they have not yet been upgraded since down on 11. My eagle artillery has not yet been upgraded since down on 11. Same with my inferno towers, as well as I have not even yet purchased my second or my third inferno. So there you, there you can see guys, my third Inferno is still there. I haven't yet gotten him. So the reason for that is I want Town Hall 12s that come and attack me to be the same sort of level of Town Hall as I am. Um, so all your Queens, uh, all your Archer Towers can go up to level 17. They, they can go up to level 15 on town hall 11 sorry i just needed to think there for a moment yeah so they can go up to sorry about that oh come on okay so they can go up to level 15 on town hall 11 and then they gain an additional two levels which is level 17 all eight of my archer towers are level 17 i am currently in the progress of upgrading my cannons from level 15 to level 16 so these two are done well they they done in a day one one hour and a day and seven hours after that i will be taking them to level 17 where they will also be max so bear in mind level 15 is still max for town hall 11 my mortars as you can see them two of them are going to level 12 which they will be max for town hall 12 and two of them are on level 11 or town yeah, level 11 so they can go all the way to 10 on town 11 exactly the same for my teslas my teslas i believe are still town 11 teslas um they look amazing when they are town 12 but i am not ready for my hidden teslas yet unfortunately this base town 12 is phenomenal um i have wanted to be town 12 for an extremely long time I just needed to wait it out very patiently um, but 
I am loving this. I am loving every second of being Town Hall 12. It is just so much of work. Um, I'll show you guys just now as well, for instance, if I were to get ready, let's say for instance, my, my mortars. If I upgrade my mortars, I have got the gold pass. With the gold pass, you end up having 20% reduction in your builder boost. You have 20% research boost. Your training is 20% and you have one gem donation. You guys already know that. So even with the 20% reduction in timing, it still takes 11 days and four hours. So it is almost like, I think it's 14 days or just a little bit past 14 days that it takes for your for one building to upgrade which is why if I do a Town Hall 12 update every second week, you guys aren't going to see any progress. If I do it on my Town Hall 8, you will see a huge amount of progress because it takes like 3 or 4 days to upgrade a building. Whereas in Town Hall 12, it literally takes 2 weeks. But I am definitely not going to be complaining because I do see the results. Um, it sucks when Town Hall 13s are attacking me because I am not yet on that level to defend them. But I attack them right back. And unfortunately, I don't win all of them yet. But that is where these babies are coming into play, guys. Your heroes to me are... If I knew what I know now, back then when I started this, I would not have went to the next Town Hall without upgrading my heroes to the max first. Honestly, it takes time... Um, but it is so worth it. I mean, when you go down on nine, you get your you get your archer queen, and your archer queen goes all the way up to level forty. But trust me, it's worth it. My queen is level fifty-five, guys. And to give you an example, whenever you activate her ability, she almost takes any building, be it the the archer tower, the mortar, the cannon. She almost takes any one of them out with one attack, as long as she's under her ability. And bear in mind, I say almost, so the cannon she does take out, but some of them she leaves with a little bit of he um, health points. But imagine them being level 65, guys. They become beasts. So when you do a queen walk, you can do a, such a perfect, such an amazing valued queen walk that you basically destroy 30 or 40% of the base easily if it's just executed perfectly. So that is what I'm um, trying to go into and trying to focus on, really just upgrading these um, these heroes of mine. But my queen is going to stay stagnant for, um, for a while until my king catches up with her because he's also part of the funneling. He's a really big part actually. But when my king comes level 55, my queen is going to go all the way up to 65 before I even start to upgrade my king again. And from now on out, my Grand Warden is not resting. My Grand Warden is just upgrading every single time as I can. I managed to do like two or three attacks while gaining the elixir to upgrade him again and then he's, he's busy upgrading right now so he's going to level 28 then 29 until he's at level 40 where he's max and I can really benefit of him that is how, how serious I am about those heroes they are just phenomenal guys really they are phenomenal okay let's go into my lab so as you can see everything here is basically max um, except for my my mines my gold mines they up we probably have this upgrade or this update for like a month if I'm not mistaken um, so or not even a month probably like two weeks going three weeks um, so I've got one gold mine level 14 everything else is level 13 my storages are max my storages are max and then here I have three of my collectors on level 14 the rest of them are all on level 13 I have got one Dark Elixir Drill on level 8, the other two are still on level 7, but that is not a priority of mine at the moment. I really want to get my base to defense up, I want to get those mortars max, I want to get those um, those cannons max, and once they are max, those Teslas, I want to get those Teslas max, I will then after that, before I jump into the Wizard Tower, before I jump into the Inferno, before I go into all those things, I will max out everything else in my base first. As you can see, I've been focusing on my walls as well. Walls are level 12. I would love to, f to max out my complete Tunnel 12 before I upgrade to Tunnel 13 so that I can really come in and actually be on a competitive level with everyone else. It doesn't help if I go in and upgrade now to a level 13 because I'm really just... I'm going to waste my time. They're going to destroy me attack after attack after attack and it just won't be fun. 
Um, so there's still months and months of work to go into this, but it's definitely going to pay off. I know that. Okay, cool. So let's go into our research lab if we can find it. There we go. Let's go into our research lab, guys. So Barbarian can go one level, then it's max. Same with the Giant and the Goblin. Warbreaker as well. So Archer is max. Balloons are max. This is all max for Tunnel 12 now, guys. So Wizard is max. Healer, Pekka, Dragon, max. Baby Dragon needs to go one more. Miner needs to go one more. Electro Dragon and Yeti Max. The Lightning Spell, the Heal, the Rage, the Jump, they are all max. The Clone is max. I need to do my Freeze one more level. In all honesty, I have not been doing two spells. I have not really been pay giving any attention to the Poison Spell. I should have, but I didn't. And I also didn't give any attention to the Skeleton Spells. So I am a little bit disappointed in myself that I actually am a Town Hall 12 and have a level 1 spell. It's not a new spell, so that is disappointing. Um, and the same with the Poison. So I really need to work on that. But unfortunately, at this stage... My freeze are more important, I use it in every single attack, um, and I will most probably upgrade my poison spell before I upgrade my skeleton spell, but my earthquake is max, my haste is max, my bats are max. I am currently busy upgrading my Valkyrie to level 7, my hogs I've recently done to level, ele uh, level 9, sorry. My golem can go one more and my witch can go one more, bowler is maxed out. Lava Hound is maxed out. I actually love the Lava Loon attack. I'm going to be sharing a few more in the near future, probably like two or three days from now. Um, my Ice Golem can go one more. I did not... Um, ever since I started to see the Siege Machines, I sort of just fell in love with the Stone Slammer. And as soon as I obtained my workshop, I just said, Stone Slammer, you're going to go all the way up. So Stone Slammer I took to level 3, I'm going to be doing my War Wrecker next and then my Blimp. I actually saw a really nice attack from someone that Judo Sloth has shared and I had never seen something like that before. So I am curious to try that for myself, but I will probably for now get a, a Max Battle Blimp from the clan. If you are interested in that attack that I had just mentioned, I will try it out. So it's literally where you use a blimp, you drive it straight to the town hall, you fill it with an Electro Dragon and Loons. Once the blimp goes down, once you deploy your troops, you drop a heal, uh, not you drop a clone spell and you drop a rage spell and you just do incredible damage. Okay guys, so that was an update on my Town Hall 12. In the future I'll do another update, most probably in about a month's time, we can really see the results. And hopefully by then, we can talk about maybe two more troops that I've maxed. Um, hopefully by then, two or three of my cannons will be maxed, level 17, and maybe even all my mortars, because I, I'm only going to have two left to upgrade after these upgrades are done. Thank you so much 